It's the holidays at HSN. Celebrating 40 years of marriage. And we're making spirits bright. Time to eat, drink, and be more merry. It's more of everything you wish for. Don't forget the presents. Gift. Get. Repeat. Santa has elves. You have us. Let's get this holiday party started. More gifts. More brands. More friends. More merry. The biggest joy in life for me is food and family. And the technique that gets food and family together is cooking. My entire life is about teaching. It's about showing people how to cook. Because there's this mystique out there that it's actually hard. It's so easy to make great food. The one goal with this Simply Main collection is to get tools that are easy to use, that are affordable, but more importantly, psych you up, jazz you up, that you like, I can do this. You'll be amazed how easy it is to cook at home. Well, there we go. Chef Ming is in the house with us. We've got a really, really wonderful hour. And the essence of it is, are you trying to eat healthier, but you want all the flavor in the world? We're in the right place this hour because the products we're going to bring you will do that and so much more. Uh, first off, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at one item that's coming up, and it's Chef's Famous Air Fryer. Now, imagine having that ooey, gooey, yummy taste of all the fried foods that you love and none of the guilt. Well, that is exactly what Chef is done. This is the Simply Ming, the Healthy Fry Ceramic Nonstick. I have to tell you, it is one of the smartest inventions. In fact, if you've never air fried, stick around to see how this works. But the neatest thing about it is you keep all the crunch, all the taste. It cooks faster and better than any other method out there and zero of the guilt because guess what? You're using air to fry and you think that's impossible. It is completely possible and quite frankly, I beyond highly recommend this personal to my friends and family members because it is brilliant what he's done to upgrade an air fryer. And you're going to see that. Look at the big savings. It's $90 off. Free shipping, five flex. We got it all put together for you. All right, so spiralizing. What's spiralizing all about? Well, it's taking vegetables and fruits, and you'll see a lot of cool things coming up. Being able to eat healthier, creating an immense amount of volume with very little product, and it's really the rage in terms of cooking nowadays. The problem is all the other spiralizers that are out there, I'll get that straight, they're um, difficult to use, they're cumbersome, they're not consistent. Well, guess what? Chef Ming has completely reinvented the idea of eating healthier, prepping quicker, and spiralizing so you get more bang for that precious buck that we have with this electric automated unit. And it is our very best value today. So let's look at it. I have to tell you, I've never seen a spiralizer that is smarter or better or more efficient than this one is. And I'm really critical about these things. And I'm trying to eat healthier like I think so many of us. And yes, I've tried other units. I've seen other units. I've talked about a lot of units. But the, all the other units out there are unlike what Chef has done. And what he does so brilliantly is he takes things that are interesting and with his analytical mind, he makes them smarter and better. And I'm telling you, there's not a better one on the market than what you're seeing here today. Our price is one day only. We have all the famous colors that will go back to your cookware from Chef, including, of course, the rich purple. We have the beautiful, beautiful race car red. Up here on the top, this is the blue. I gotta try me, and I'll show you what I did this morning with it. I have the blue now. We have, the, of course, that beautiful white, which is great for all kitchens, and we have the jet black. We got a lot to get into. Just updated from my producer, the purple and my blue are now down to sellout quantities already and we're only at what five o'clock and uh, we expect everything to sell up by the end of the day one other quick note get the book get the book get the book why we have sold and oversold by the thousands the 160 page spiralizing cookbook that goes back to this unit the recipes are unbelievable variety like you will not imagine and it's available right now but I will tell you this thing has been on fire all day long all right chef Ming thank you so much for joining us it's so good to see you again Oh, how are we doing today? I, I have to tell you, I had such an awesome experience. You know, I got to try me one, right. right? And I opened it up, and I thought, oh, a spiralizer. And then I thought, well, it's Chef, so let's see. And I have to tell you, each and every feature in this one is dramatically different than any other spiralizer I, I out am, there. First of all, always excited to see you, Suzanne. Thank you. But I'm so excited about every product I've designed on HSN over the years. 
This is the coolest, most innovative, and it doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. This is the world premiere of an electronic spiralizer that is self-feeding. Huge. Right? <laughs> but can I digress for a second and show you what traditional spiralizers kind of look like? And I used to use them in Japan. They used to cost $200. They were actually, uh, how do I say, a little even cheaper looking because they're, right? But what I hate about it is, well, the, <laughs> well, handle, the, I, the handle, handle comes off. off. I, I hate about that. <laughs> is you have to push your product. This one's really bad. You have to push your product, and if you push too hard, you get a thicker spaghetti. If you push less, it doesn't even go through. Right. And this is what I really hate. See all these blades that come into it? The reason there's a red tape, and the reason it says danger very sharp, is because it's dangerous and very sharp. So when you're switching in and out the blade, it's not a great thing. So I, I took that into account. Sure. So I wanted to make sure, I didn't have to worry about crank compression, and I wanted to make sure you didn't have to worry about cutting yourself. Right. So let me just first show you how it works, and then we'll go from there. All right. So here's a here's a normal zucchini, and you have all these different blades. Which I'm going to show you how those blades work. And there's there's two different things you have to do. Once you have the zucchini, you put it in. You then lock it. Then you just turn it on. And Look at this. <laughs> and you walk away. Right. And. The threading, it's just a screw in the bottom and it threads it. So it's the same pressure every time. So that means the exact same thickness every time. And here we have zucchini spaghetti. Right? Now, I mean, how great is that? You know what my, one of my biggest reaction was? Number one, the ease of it. It right. was so intuitive. It was very easy. He's going to show you how the blades work, which right. is absolutely ingenious, right? But the second one, I couldn't believe the volume. Yeah. I put a potato, one potato in mine. And I thought, well, I bought two potatoes at the store because I was going to make breakfast this morning for my husband and for myself, right? right. I'm going to need two potatoes. Right. Do you know, here it is. Okay, oh, that yeah. was... Oh, nice. Wait, that is the pile of potatoes that came that's out awesome. of... That's what I made this morning. Does that look great? Are you proud that, of me, Chef? I'm very proud of it you. It was so delicious, and my husband, I could not believe. The pile of potato I had to feed both of us was overwhelming. I could have easily fed four people on one potato. Isn't that so crazy? Even, and I never realized how much of a savings uh, out of my wallet that is. Right. When oh, you don't sure. have to use a potato per person, imagine how many people you can feed, and it will blow your mind well, when it first look happens. Look how much we got you. out of one zucchini. Yeah. But wait, look, can you really see this? Like, really, this, and did you notice this, I had my wonk, too, by the way? Yeah, the, this is wonk. one zucchini. I'm just making the easiest possible dish. Garlic, ginger, olive oil. Oh. So if you want to make a carb-free pasta, and of course you can have tomato sauce, you can do anything you want, but it's al dente. So like other pasta, you don't have to put it in water to cook it. Right. It's cooking right here. And all I'm doing is heating it, and this dish is done. I mean, it's that quick. Like two minutes, right? right? It's a two-minute zucchini pasta that, if you want, a little bit of Reggiano on top. Mm -mm -mm. And you have the most delicious dish. Now, guys, look at how full that plate is. That That's was huge. one zucchini. It's a massive plate. And you'll be absolutely shocked and thrilled. And it's very satisfying at the same time. Right. Like you say, oh, I, I love pasta. You know what pasta is? And Chef, you know, we've talked about this. Pasta is a carrier for all the stuff that goes on top exactly. of it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so, it's Thanksgiving. One of the best holidays in the world. Chinese New Year Thanksgiving is all about food, which is why I like it so much. So here's some sweet potato. That's great. Of course, you can just cook the sweet potatoes. You can make a mash out of it. You can make a sweet potato soup out of this. Here we've made a sweet potato casserole. Oh, but the man. reason this works so well is all these sweet potatoes are exactly the same thickness. It's physically impossible because of the threading yeah. for it to be a different thickness. And what does that mean? So that means when you make a sweet potato casserole, you don't have extra soft or extra hard. It's all the same. Right. Um, and if you want to make a sweet potato soup, same thing. Oh but here gosh. we have this awesome, look at this. Oh, baby. <laughs> look at that. Fantastic I'm just thinking of a potato casserole, casserole too. Right? Oh, my Lord. And I'll tell you, let me show you the other thing you can do. So, and again, look how easy it is. You unlock it, and then, of course, you, you, you lose a little bit of potato. You don't really lose it, right? I mean, you have this. You can cut this up. Mm -hmm. But that's only because the teeth are holding it. Mm -hmm. Here's a regular potato skin, and I, I cut it just halfway. Why do I do that? I do that because I want to make kind of potato chips. So once it's cut... You'll see when it goes through here. And it was about a half an inch away, but that's okay because it's eventually going to feed. Right. And you're going to see it makes its own chips because I cut it. So now oh, you brilliant. have these fantastic chips that you can deep fry or, of course, make a potato soup or a, a potato casserole. casserole yeah. But you have perfect round chips. And 
I'm here. <laughs> I'm not even close to this machine. Plus, it stops. So you don't watch have to this, worry watch. about it. And that's and what happened stops. this morning. Was, you would have laughed. You, I, I videoed part of it, right? I'm literally in there, and I started my potato. Right. And about halfway through, I stopped, and I go, Craig, get over here, who's my <laughs> husband. And I said, you have got to see this work. So he got up, he ran down the hall, and I said, watch this. I turned the on button on again, and we both sat there and literally marveled over this yeah. thing. He said, that is the most brilliant invention in the world. And you know what we did? I made space for it. Because I don't know about you, but I have a really little house and a very small kitchen with right. no space. I had to throw out another item that I wasn't using anymore to literally make space for this right. one in my cabinet. It is and, that and by the way, the, the, the footprint's not huge at all, oh, right? no. And it comes with this tray that not only catches the stuff, this tray clicks in on the bottom to hide the cord for storage. Yep. But we were talking about volume. Can I just show you some volume here? Sure. Um, here we have some um, butternut squash. Oh, oh, I didn't put that in right. That was my bad. <laughs> so, so you got to make sure it gets into the, into the teeth, right? and then lock it, right? Right. And you're gonna see quantity like you've never seen before. Now this is one butternut squash. This is, this is a third, this is the squash is like this. Oh, this okay. is just the top part. But here, here, grab some. Okay, wait, you have to like, watch this. I mean, keep going. Look, We're gonna do the whole look thing. How much <laughs> butternut squash <laughs> spaghetti? Here you go that way. You get. Here, Trace, you got to get in the middle, honey. <laughs> Chef Tracy's like, Adam, wait, it's still going, you guys. Right. I mean, we were joking earlier. <laughs> Chef Eric, Chef Eric, if this, Eric, if this, if this is if this is Halloween, this, this would have been the I'm best decoration ever. Look, you guys, we're still going. We're still the going. Here, we got more going. here too. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's and that's that's a third of a butternut squash, Is right? Is that crazy? So th this is it was like we're drying our pasta, like an <laughs> yes, alley, it right? really is. Isn't but it? let's bring it all in and oh let's just show the gosh. quantity. Wait, look, look, look! I got this over here. Look how much came oh out of this. Oh my goodness! That's an unbelievable amount of butternut squash. And what do you do with this? You just saute it, and there's your pasta. And you put your normal tomato sauce on it, or you put your pesto on it. You use this instead of a wheat or rice noodle. Right. 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 Or if you're in a pinch and you need to make a butternut squash soup on the fly, this will cook so much faster than chunks of butternut squash. Also, Chef, explain, right? and we're going to say hi to Maureen, but explain there's four blades. Yes, I'm going to Because you notice there's none of these owie get lost right. in you. So you want, cumbersome. let me show you right here. This is the best way to do it. I want to just take this blade. I want to show you how easy this is. Because this is so, so smart. It's, you, you push one button. All right, you can see. So you can see the different shades, but I want to show you how easy it is. So th those are the things, but this this is this is the part I love about this spiralizer. Okay. You saw those four things you had to slip with the red thing that right? you can cut yourself. This is how we change our blades. You just turn the knob. Bigger pasta and then ribbons, right? Mm -hmm. Small, big, biggest ribbons. That's it. So for like, I want to do ribbons here, and this is all you do. So by the way, this gets machine washed. Yep. Not an issue. Super easy. This you just have to rinse. There's no, oops, there's nothing to this. I just wiped mine it, down. Right. Yeah. This can also be machine washed, right? Because that this is what holds the um, holds the fruit products. So that's the only thing that would actually get any food. And look how easy it just clicks in with a snap. That's it. So then take an apple, for example. Okay. And we'll just bring this apple in, and you lock it and you turn it on. And this is how you get the same thick, thickness of apples to make not only the most perfect apple pie, and I like it with the skin, because I think the skin tastes good, right? right? And the skin is by far the most nutritious, as people know. And believe it or not, we didn't even decor it. And the seeds <laughs> kind of just fall off. Isn't that crazy? Right? So all the seeds are kind of just hanging out here. This is all perfectly great apple to use. Oh, my gosh. And if you just put it in an air fryer to dehydrate or just an oven, low temp, you get apple chips. Look at that. Which costs five, six dollars a bag. So you can make your own apple chips from scratch. No. I mean, it's just such a genius wow. machine that it requires is. almost no work whatsoever. Yes. Right? Oh, it's, almost none. I mean, it's insane how we easy call it our this sous -chef. is. All right, we're going to say hi to Maureen in Washington. Thank you so much, Maureen, for waiting. You're on with Chef Mayside. Hey, Maureen. Hey, guys, I have to tell you, this is my fourth time to call through. I got very busy last night with you. Okay. And I want to thank you for being the happy wow, wow. enabler that you are. Enabler. You're an enabler. I'm an enabler. Okay. <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> so let's just talk about that for a second. Okay. Thank you, first and foremost, for making the best spiralizer ever. I bought four other ones, and I mean, I bought all different kinds of them, never used them, gave them all away, and said, yeah, well, this must be what, why I was waiting, because this is the one. So this uh, one's for me. Awesome. Then I found your cookbook. Okay, we got that while we were waiting. Then we bought the square pan. And, yeah, and the list goes, oh, yeah, and then your little baking set with the sheet and the... Yep. Oh, yep. what do you call it? Oh, yeah. So thanks so much for getting me in trouble last night, but I'm so happy. Uh, Maureen, you know what? I'd love to get you in trouble more often. That sounds like the best <laughs> type of trouble. Thank you so much. Do you know what I want to make really quick? Do you know what I want to make? Let's Remember see Remember how you were making that lattice thing with the potato? Yes. I want to do that, and then I want to put fried eggs on top of it oh, with a crumbled so bacon. Oh, so good. Let's go. And it, you, that's, <laughs> let's go. You're right, Marie. That's fantastic. And that, those fried potatoes, I'm going to show you in a second, Suzanne. You can break okay. them into little pieces and put smoked salmon on them. Oh, best done. Oh, let's done. go on that, too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming to Washington State. We're gonna go to Maureen's house. <laughs> okay. Maureen, <laughs> thank you for you joining guys us. Have a good year, okay? Thanks, you as Maureen. well. Thank you so much, Maureen. But oh, you know, she made such call. a good point, though. She's had four other ones, and if I had more time, I was gonna yeah. say, why don't you use them? And chances are, they were cumbersome. They were bulky. She had to push. You have to use your yeah. own force. You have to crank, crank, crank. You have to twist, twist, twist. Yeah. And that's why we're not into spiralizing because it's always been difficult and cumbersome and just messy, yeah. right? Chef has totally redesigned this, and I can tell you from my own experience and we do me a favor Steve can you show my little video because I think it's important that you see us host when we say it's awesome oh, yeah, we did, use the uh, product. Uh, you actually have your own video. I, I heard, I've, I've heard video. about this famous He's video. He's not seen the video okay. but I shot it because I stood there I could shoot a video while it was spiralizing that was pretty impressive right. and it's great because literally it does all the work for you consistently yep. you get a pile of results. For me I just never realized what one potato could feed four right. people. I, I, I was shocked by that. And, and it's your sous chef, because guess yeah. what? Hanukkah, Christmas, Thanksgiving are all around the corner. And that's all about food, food, food. Yep. And by the way, and maybe Maureen's already on this too, this is one of the best hostess gifts you could ever give someone. So you know how you show up with your chili, your mac and cheese? Well, let's say you're the salad course. Well, show up with some carrots and some fennel and some zucchini and a spiralizer and make it in front of everyone with your vinaigrette and then leave this machine. Oh my God, you'll be Done. invited back a thousand times. What did Marine say? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right, oh, here's so here your video. Is. I had one potato, so I stuck it in there, right? Yeah. And first off, you guys, easy as can be. you got to get this machine. You will not regret it. Then what really surprised me is yeah. it just kept going. Yeah. Now, and again, I, did, I had to stop shooting right. because it became too much video. Because that <laughs> potato <laughs> went from one potato to literally feeding I, four I people. I hear you. I was amazed so at that. So the other part of this design, so now you, you, you know, you have the blue Blades that are easy to change. Right. That's key. It's self-feeding. That's key. It has a huge diameter. This is a head of red cabbage. Wow. So a head of red cabbage, you can do so I just I'm making a sauce. I'm gonna do a little bit of red cabbage here, right? A little I'll bit. Turn up. No, just a little <laughs> bit. No, I'm gonna stop there. Just a bit. Because I want some green cabbage too. And I actually like it that with the tray, when you push it, it kind of just falls off. So now here's some green cabbage that I want to put in here. And this, this is a bigger head of cabbage. Mm. And by the way, I don't have to shove it in because it's going to lightly come in all by itself. That's See, right. there's no, there's nothing coming out now because it's slowly coming back for the thread, and then eventually catches the blade. Look at that. And then eventually, and every now and then, one leaf comes off, which is not a big deal. But look at all this incredibly delicious finely cut slaw. Look how Crazy. fine this slaw is. You guys had a caller earlier today who yep. said, once you did that demo, just to do homemade coleslaw, they were all in. They said, that's right? it. I bought it but for that reason. But look at this. And, and you know, because wow. how else do you do this? Well, you can do by knife, but no one, I don't care, you're not going to get this perfectly yeah. exact a cut by a knife. How hard is this to do on yeah. a grater? Well, grater, you it's don't really get long different. pieces like this. Right, right. And when you buy them in the bag, it's old, it could be slimy, it could be no bueno, right? Great so point. do it yourself. And and by the way, the amount of money you can save, because this is such an inexpensive item, for under 50 bucks, if you, instead of buying in one week your bags of zucchini, spaghetti, and butternut squash zucchini, and, and done coleslaw, you paid for your, your spiralizer just by just oh. by cooking for one week. Uh, absolutely. We'll give it Easily. one week, and if it doesn't pay for itself, then you send it right back to us, and we'll give you all your money back. Exactly. I would say hi to Eileen joining us from Pennsylvania. Hi. Welcome around with Chef Ming. Too. Hi. Hey. Um, I can't believe that you came up with this. I saw it this morning while I was getting ready for work, and I said, right. I gotta have this. 
I've been spiralizing for about six months now. Right. And I can't remember the last time I ate pasta. Wow. And um, I've been using like the crank kind, and I thought, okay, this is great. You know, no problem with it. But you have to change the blades out. Yep. And I saw too that this will do bigger things like squash and, as you said, the cabbage and yep. all. And it, it's just what I wanted. I wanted an electric one, but all the ones I've seen, you have to put the food in the chute, which means you have to cut it. Exactly. Yep. It. And what I love is you have the tray that the food goes into. This is exactly what I want because it's like all the best features of my one with the crank, only way. Upgraded. Way totally automatic. Awesome. Yeah. Eileen, that's totally. awesome. I, I love this yeah. call in particular, Eileen, because one, you already know about spiralizers, so you know the pros and cons of the ones you've used. And this is going to be bar none. The best, yeah. easiest I mean, one that I you're going to use. I go to the supermarket, I see what they're charging for a little thing, which I know is basically one zucchini spiralized, and they're yeah. charging $7.99. Can you believe <laughs> it? I know, for one zucchini, that? which should cost 79 cents. Right. So, you, yeah. I mean, again, you'll pay for, you'll pay for the spiralizer maybe in one meal. Oh, true. You really will. Yeah. Well, Eileen, do us yeah. a favor. Once you get it home and try it, can you write a review? Because you do have I, that I before will. versus I, I, after. I'm looking at that flaw you're making right yeah. now, and I'm telling you. Crazy. I can't wait. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Well, Eileen, thank you Thanks, oh, great. this All is right. actually in the book this is actually a is. buffalo chicken slaw so we did a buffalo kind of chicken vinaigrette Should I eat it? and because it's buffalo chicken <laughs> we actually have a little blue cheese crumble on top of course you do but all the veg is done in the spiralizer and here it is love. yeah that that recipe is in the cookbook i've got to warn you on the cookbook it is outselling any prediction we had on it um and even if you say well like eileen i had other spiralizers i tried them i gave up everything you disliked about the other spiralizers that you picked up so far Chef has completely reinvented and made everything automatic and so easy. It's so much fun. There's a recipe, by the way, from the book. It's 160 pages. Little FYI, if you want the purple, which everybody loves, that's the rich purple, we have 190 left. My so God, you're going to say goodbye crazy. to the purple right now. We don't have a lot of time left, nor do we have a lot of product in terms of some of the colors. But again, your Chef, this really is the rage. And I know you are passionate about people eating healthier, but they miss their pastas. And now this is a great alternative. And and, and kids, kids, it's fun to eat noodles, right? And the thing that I love, oh, that's cool. I'm looking the, for the a fork thing that, The thing that I love <laughs> right is when you make these noodles out of butternut squash or, or um, zucchini you. or yellow squash, you can just drop them in a broth. And that oh. becomes your noodle. And you don't have to That's cook them idea. because they're all denty. They have a great texture to them. And I'm going to show you a cool thing. What um, what Maureen was talking about mm. was this potato thing. And so this is what she was going to do and put uh, fried egg on. Yeah. When I said you can, you can actually put uh, smoked salmon on. This so this is, is potato hair. And by the way, you can make a pasta with straight potato hair. The cashew pepper you see me do with the yeah. pasta with the garlic and the black pepper. Yeah. We did it earlier with just straight pasta. Oh, but look great. what you can do with this right this is just a half an inch of oil and go slow and we're gonna fry this nice and crisp mm. it's almost like a, uh, a poor man's latke if you will this takes no, uh, no effort to make a potato pancake right and you just spread this out and this will get nice and crisp, and it'll become like an airy potato cake. Oh, man. And what we're going to do, because Eric's got this little stir fry going on, he's got some pork with some broccoli florets, we're going to add to that some of the um, um, harder vegetables first, which is this broccoli huh. stem. Which nobody right? eats a broccoli stem. Which no stem. one ate. No. No, my, my dad, actually, we were lived, he lived in Paris. He was writing a book on a sabbatical, and we're cooking with our French friends, and they would throw away the broccoli stem. <laughs> my dad would go to the garbage, like, what are you doing? It's like, this is the best part. <laughs> and the French said, what are you talking about? But stem. when you cut it really thin, or make noodles, or in this case, spiralizers like we're doing, this has the best texture, and it actually has some of the highest nutrition, because this is a stem, so everything has to pass through the stem before you get oh, to the florets. Super dense in its nutrients, it's right? Dense. Yeah. And this is, I mean, you know. It went from something you're like, there's no way I'm gnawing on a stem to, I'll really eat that. No, <laughs> and it's got a great ton, great crunch, and it goes from the garbage, literally, <laughs> to a fantastic pork stir fry. Right. And now watch what's gonna happen, guys. This stops automatically. It knows when to stop itself. Oh, absolutely. There's no guesswork whatsoever on this. The consistency is bar none, the very best out there. There's nothing out 
out there. And trust me, I've seen them all. I've seen the tried the shoot ones. I've tried the turny ones, the hand cranky things. There is absolutely nothing that matches what Chef has done with this unit. Right. It's It will blow your mind. I promise you that. And you know what? If you don't love it, that's okay. You have until the end of January to spiralize everything you can think of. And if you're not thrilled, you send it back. We'll give you all your money. But here's the key to this. The price will go up dramatically at midnight tonight, even if I have five of these left. So if you're thinking about it, trust me, please, I hope you do. I know you trust Chef Ming. You've watched him on PBS for years. Celebrated restaurateur, TV star, all around great philanthropist as well. Get this unit before it's gone. I promise you, and I know, Chef, you do too, you will be absolutely gobsmacked when you start using it. Because I really was this morning. I truly couldn't believe how brilliant this was. But well, I should you. have doubted you. See, that was my problem. <laughs> I knew better. I like that term, gobsmacked, by the gobsmacked? way. Gobsmacked? Hi, Christine one. in New Jersey. You're on with Chef Ming. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Chef Ming. Hi, hey, Chris. Hi. How are you? Oh, I am so excited about this. Why? I can't tell you. <laughs> Why is that, Christine? Well, I've cut my fingers and stabbed myself a few times using yep. other uh, spiralizers. Mm -hmm. And I just can't seem to get the zucchini to stay on the, the little base. Right. So the fact that this sits by itself and it does it on its own is fantastic. Yeah. And I also have to say I've cut most of my fingertips off almost with changing blades on other units. Yeah. And the idea that you just crank this is brilliant. Just yeah. turn a knob. Thank it's you. as easy as turning Say a knob. Again, the best calls, people that have used a spiralizer, this would be the best spiral, spiralizer you've ever used. And for those that have never used a spiralizer, you're going to become a spiralizer. -er. Yes. I can't wait to get it to start doing all, all the healthy meals that I really want to cook. And right. I also got the cookbook because everything you're making is making me hungry. <laughs> Good. That's, I got to tell you, the working. cookbook's worth it just for that bar, bar, or buffalo coleslaw. I'm telling you, Christine, just that one recipe is worth it. I mean, this is well, a great know, that, one, too. That sweet potato um, casserole looks amazing, too. Oh, yeah. I love doing casserole, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, enjoy. I love sweet potatoes. I love that. Uh, Christine, I'm glad you understand. I'm glad you're never going to hopefully cut your fingers ever again <laughs> using spiralizer. <laughs> and most importantly, make delicious, healthy food. And that's, that's the point here. Well, thank you, well, Christine. this is the greatest idea, Galen. As soon as spiralizers came out, I was excited because I love vegetables. Right. Yeah. Right. And who doesn't? And every doctor in the world says you can eat as many vegetables as you want. That's right. Period. Doesn't well, matter Christine, which cuisine. Christine, thank you. Well, Thanks, the, Christine. You know what the problem is? Is I don't particularly like vegetables. But now that no. I can spiralize, it's the way to make everything so edible and delicious. There's such wonderful satisfaction in spiralized vegetables. And I know you laugh at first glance, but you really will fall in love with it. Why do we eat pasta? Pasta is basically uh, a, a, an avenue for the good stuff you put on top of it. So if you love fettuccine pasta, just change change it to zucchini noodles and still put all the good stuff on it and then you're eating healthier and less guilty for sure. All right, here's your official update. That's kind of what I'm doing. The purple, last chance to get it. We will not have the purple in the next airing. There's 80 left. This is going to be the last time you'll see it. The blue, this is the blue that I got a try me sample. That's the one I used. That's the video you saw on my Facebook page. There are 500 left in the blue. That's almost gone as well. Always super popular is a race car red. Everybody loves the white because it's a great gift idea. In fact, the white is the most popular across the board and the black. And I would think if you're trying to eat healthier or you want to give the gift of health but not sacrifice flavor, this is the best Christmas gift you can give anybody or a Hanukkah gift. They will truly appreciate it. And I, all four of these or all of these do four different methods. And there it is, guys. You're seeing it. But the coolest thing is you will never have to pull out plates full with blades. You literally turn one knob on the side and it will give you all the different shapes that you're seeing there. Also, please remember, this is huge for me too. It's fully automated. Once you place your potato or your veggie in there, that thing moves slowly by itself, gives the perfect pressure on its own, and then stops automatically. It's huge. It is absolutely a game changer when it comes to changing the way you eat. And if you've been trying to spiralize and you're trying to eat healthier and you've been very frustrated by all the other units that are out there, this will make you happy and make you want to do it. And quite frankly, chef, make you want to eat more vegetables, which I think is phenomenal. So you got nice and crispy oh, now. That's perfect. So as uh, as was, I think it was Maureen, right? She said you could you could serve this and put and you can put um, uh, eggs on it. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to cook until it gets, gets a little bit more cooked here. And then we're just going to use this as a garnish. Check this oh, nice. out. I mean, how cool is this looking? 
Right, look ah, at that. Isn't that the beautiful. coolest thing ever? Mm -hmm. And then we just put a little bit of salt. That's it. And oh this, you want to upgrade a stir fry? Just lay this right on top. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, right? all in on that too. Right. <laughs> Let me show you something even cooler. If you have kids and you want to do something so fun, what is this? Frozen Jello. Stop right? it! Right. So in your normal Jello recipe, but they, they, it's in the recipe that you can take a little water out. It's sure the jiggle. Works. You're looking for right. the jiggle. Okay. And you we're going like to Jello ribbons. Oh no way! Is that in the cookbook? Oh this darn it! This is not in the cookbook, but try it. It's <laughs> oh, so fun. You. How cool is this? And kids love this. I mean, look at this. And you can eat jello. Oh my jello. gosh, that's really fun. Look at that. That's super fun. Isn't yeah. that amazing? That really is. So here's and it actually looks really artistic. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> it's just not a plop of jello in a bowl. And while know? we're here, and this is what it is. It's just literally in a container. So stick in the freezer. You stick Chef, in the freezer. Please, we were talking about uh, maybe making adult frozen jello. Oh, oh yeah, you could, you, could, you, you, could do, you could do adult there's frozen. There's jello shots, and then there's this. That, exactly, yeah. that's the next level. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh, isn't that a delicious Isn't that nice? Yeah. All of us are grinning. When's that coming out? <laughs> Look at this. How fun is that? It's like shaved ice, really. It is. When you think about exactly. it, it's kind of like shaved it's, ice. It's like shaved jello. Yeah. Right. It is How shaved jello. It's not like shaved jello. It is, yeah. It's a real thing. But you know what I'd love to do, cool Chef, is too, is maybe, Tracy, you could do that, or Eric, if you don't mind. Can you give us volume again? Just Sure. Grab something and let us Absolutely. know when it's ready because we're going to use no, one the, vegetable. Um, and in just a second, these guys will set it up. You're going to see this mass amount of volume. You're going to be able to feed more people less expensively right. and more delicious and healthier than ever before but, simply because you're But you I have to it. show you the other coolest things besides Jello. <laughs> yeah? Is this. What is this? Beef carpaccio. That's right. No beef carpaccio. way. So we took beef tenderloin, froze it. I can stop it here because I don't need this much. And look oh, how beautiful, chef. thin, thinly sliced, all the same thickness. And you'd normally use a professional slicer to do beef car carpaccio, right? Because they're supposed to be thin, right? But we don't need to. And that's there. And by the way, we need a little cheese. Crazy. So why don't we take a little bit of cheese here? Now, what is that? It's a hard, a little bit of a harder cheese, right? This is yeah. This is a Reggiano, so okay. a hard, a hard cheese. And just give me some nice shade pieces to lay on top of my oh, beef carpaccio. Oh, of, of course now. you can. Oh. Oops, sorry. I don't know. You can take the whole. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> and just a little salt and pepper, and Chef, a little bit of delicious. olive oil, and we have a beef carpaccio. Mm, right? That is beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, beautiful. how simple is that? I love that. And then you wanted uh, volume? Turn that right. on there, So what guys. is this? What that are we doing? Daikon. This is a daikon radish. A daikon radish. All right. So here we go. Look how much volume you're going to get out <laughs> it's of this. All, it, it, and this is, this is a half a daikon radish, right? A half of it. It's not even yes, the whole half. thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. So this, 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 this big. You can add this so this is small. literally half. You could pickle this. You could add it quite traditionally in a dashi, a, ja a, a Japanese mother stock. You would add it to it and just let it cook into awesome. the broth. And here, since we're doing it, here we have a funky beet. So this is like a rainbow beet. And, and beets oh are so God. hard, but these blades are so sharp, it doesn't matter. And look at this beautiful beet pasta. Oh you can my get gosh. For a salad or a quick stir fry, but are you kidding me? In a restaurant, I would take this one, two, three in a pan, and I would put it with some goat cheese. Oh. And then I oh. charge you about sixteen dollars. Yes, yes, he <laughs> <laughs> He's a clever businessman too. All right, wait, 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 can I start? Let's yeah, just yes. show this. Here we go. Hang on, Chef. Can you grab a little? Oh yeah, sure. You ready? Here we go, guys. Here we go, Chef Trace. We all got to be involved in this one. Look, okay. this is a half of one of these. Yes. This is a half. Keep of going. Icon. Keep going. And wait. Oh. And by the way, it's not even finished. Yeah. We, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a machine out there. There's <laughs> no. not a machine out there no. that will ever it's allow like, you to it's do like this. It's like pulling your own noodles. Because well, you know why? If it's a food processor, you're limited. This can just keep going. And notice too, Chef, yeah. you're just whipping through things. It's not like it's a big production to oh, cut no. something different. It's not at all. That's crazy. I'll take care of this. <laughs> okay. I got, got everything it on the floor. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it is. It's not a big production. You can get it done quick. As you said, it's an awesome sous chef because if you want to eat healthier but you don't have the time to chop and cut and do all yeah. that stuff, now this takes care of it for you. So we have the rainbow beets. What now is we this? have yellow beets. Oh, is this not? Right. And you know, and Chef, why is it visually so enticing? 
amazing. Well, because it's, it's like the old Play-Doh machines we used to have as kids. It's you true. push the blue Play-Doh out and you get blue. It we're extruding. It we're extruding. We're, we're actually making pasta without a pasta Look at machine. This. But is that not the most that visually right? Color appealing. is beautiful. It is. I mean, yeah. you, you look at nature, you look at the flowers, and every, you're, you're engaged. Yeah. And when you see food like this, it makes you go, I want to try that. It's yeah. like looking at a beautiful Absolutely. floral arrangement. You know why you're attracted exactly. to it, right? right? It's because the colors are so vivid. And I think it really brings out an interesting texture and flavor to it Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, because beets, of course you can eat raw. Yeah. And a little broth, and a saute pan oil. And by the way, we're slicing the onions and we're not crying. Oh, stop. Because we're standing, we're standing three feet away. Wait, is this one onion? This That's is one, one red onion. onion. Okay, so, I'm going to let you pile this one on a plate because... So that you wow. can eat. You can put in ice water, and then it's perfect for your hot dog, your hamburgers, whatever. You can coat it in rice flour or cornstarch and fry wait, guys, it for the wait, wait. best fried onions can ever. I, I'm going to turn this sideways. You guys have That's to see. That's one onion. Look, you guys, this is one single onion. Now, if you were to slice that for, say, a hamburger or something like that, yeah. you would get, what, no, five, six slices yeah, five out of it? five, six slices. Here, you are literally covering yep. tons of burgers or hot dogs. Put it, put it along a I hot mean, dog you can make the hoagie. best relish yeah. ever with oh. vinegar think, think or hoagie. Think about yeah. hoagie. You get a hoagie, big yeah. hoagie, with yeah. all the cuts, all the cheese. Yep. You do your onions. Peppers actually work on this. You yeah. put no the bottom kidding. part of the, the pepper on, stem towards the front, okay. it actually slices it real thin. Oh, yeah. see how perfect would lay that be? Lay out the onions, lay I out the peppers. Normal onion, you have maybe five slices. You have the same onion you are now feeding, you know, four, five, six people with that onion. Yep. And that's one onion. Yeah. So again, it's that whole volume story. Don't you think that's the most surprising thing is the volume it you get does. for your it's, dollar? It's crazy how much, because what we're doing is creating surface area, yep. right? So right. instead of one slice of a beet, you only have this much surface. Here we're creating surface area, it's three dimensional around all of the string, and then literally it could be a hundred yards long. One beat. Continuous. Right? Yeah. Continuous beat. And okay. and 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 because of that, they, everything cooks so much quicker. So, Chef, can you do me a favor? Yep. Uh, we got a couple minutes to go. Can awesome. you take us through all the great features? I can. In case you guys kind of maybe missed out while I eat. <laughs> so, I will. Let me, um, okay, I'll use this. Okay, one? but this is good. This is okay. a little dirty, which is fine because I want to show you how easy it is to maintain and clean. So, this whole thing comes out, right? So, this goes can go into a dishwasher, right? And by the way, this is the genius of, of this whole machine, is that the blade changes with a twist of a knob. That's blade four. And guys, do me a favor. Can you come in three. tight? Can Sorry, guys... Chef. I, can you see? I just yeah. want to make sure you really two, see this part. Blade one. It's... Right, so here's the super thin pasta, a little bit thicker, even thicker, and then ribbons. This goes in the dishwasher. This little part also can come out. The rest, you literally... You just have to take Swipe water it. and you can you unlock this and anything that's get caught, you just rinse it. I wiped just wiped it that's, down. That's it. And and because this is so easy, there's one, all you do is drop it in and you hear the click, you're done. It's ready to go. This is literally ready to go right now. And then <laughs> while we're here, I'm also show you. And this is the part I also love, because we talked about you have a small kitchen. Yes. Right? So I'm gonna lock this. That is the thread. If you're wondering how this thing works, that's the thread. That's just, it's a screw. Huh. That's all it is. Brilliant. So what I'm gonna do is, is actually bring it all the way over here so I can have room to store my cord, right? How, br that's brilliant. Which goes here, right? right? And then we have this, this bottom, which you'll hear, just clicks right in. There it goes. And then here, is how you, guys, and this is how you store it, guys. The catcher tray is the storage. And wait, last, last but not least, there's also a we little, have a, there's there's a little actually door. actually a protective door, door. That, that prevents this blade from being touched. So you, if you go right. to grab it, you're not going to touch the blade. Right. Did anybody got that little we door? Have, we yeah, have it over there. The you'll see it. Brush. Yeah, you'll see it when you. Oh, and the brush. Yeah, if you get anything left and over, then, you yeah, and the little brush is also this. This yeah. of course goes with. But I love the simplicity, especially <laughs> this part. Especially the part that all you have to do to change a blade is pull it out and twist it. Now I have great little pasta. Thanks, guys. All right. Here it is. This is what happens. We're talking about there's a right. little door and, and it goes this, right over so there. When, when you store this away, all of it snaps now, together, too. this is how you store this away. No one can get cut anywhere and it's one tight little unit. See, the jacket really, really, right. can you I hold mean, it up like that? I mean, like, that's like literally, it. <laughs> it's, I don't know, a pound and a half. Right. 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 Yeah. And I'm already thinking next generation. I would love to have a rechargeable battery one. 
Because Ooh, why not? Because why not? who doesn't want to stylize <laughs> on your RV or on your tent in your camp for the bears? <laughs> That'd be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm stylizing. No, 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 Don't wait, hold me. on. It's a cucumber. <laughs> All right, we'll stay on the line for that. The purple is going to be completely sold out. That will not even, it is a gone. Okay, the purple's sold out, okay. Chef. Well, there's one purple's here. not here. Um, the blue is next to go. The white and the black are the number one and two best sellers. Now, let me give you an update on the book. How many books have we sold? Oh, my goodness. We're almost at five. 5,000 books sold today. Now, we had, we always estimate what we think we're going to do in terms of, you know, the accessory pieces. This is outselling any of our wildest expectations on the book. So if you really want to take it to the max, unfortunately, we don't have time to get into it, but really quick while we're transitioning into our next item, how about soups and stews, flavorful salads, amazing main courses, spiralized sides, delicious desserts. That is what this book covers. So if you think, oh, this is only for a couple of vegetables, you're completely wrong, actually. And uh, Chef has created all of these amazing, like, how about this one, guys, you ready? Chicken Parmesan Zoodles. Chicken parm, really, really, Chef? Yeah, zoodles. I'm so excited about that one. Everyone needs zoodles. <laughs> we need zoodles in our life. <laughs> anyway, so the cookbook's still available, but we have a lot less of those, so do not wait on that. Now. The next time we're gonna, next thing, excuse me, we're gonna talk about is our air fryer. So guess what? We have a cookbook to go back to that. And really for me, the essence of air frying is you get all the taste with zero of the guilt, yep. right? You do. And I was honestly five years ago when air fryer still came out, I tried a whole bunch. $200, $300, I'm like, first of all, that's a lot of money for an appliance. Right. And secondly, they didn't work great because they're, it didn't get hot enough and there wasn't enough air action. So the most important thing, just like when you're skiing and it's cold in the wind, if there's enough wind, it feels colder. So if you can create enough uh, turbulence, right, and, and we have this kind of tunnel formation with the air current, that air passes through all your product, so it cooks it everywhere. For example, so if you want to see, so anyway, and by the way, simplicity by design, my, my whole thing is you should never have to use a manual to figure out how to run an appliance. Right. We, have, we have a timer, we have an on-off, that, I'm sorry, the timer's the on-off, and then we have the temperature. Of course, it's Technolon Plus coating, so nothing's going to stick to it, which makes it the only air fryer in the world with Technolon uh, Plus coating. The inside basket comes right out so you can pull out whatever you're cooking and everything besides the electronic part is machine washable. Because the whole point about this, and here's, and here's the double fan I'm talking about. So the air goes down through your product, passes through the, the hot coil, and then comes back up but for you full put circulation. Gills, you put gills around that the would, basket. That was kind of, I mean, I'll have to, little kudos to my dad because it's aerodynamics. And if you can, when you make a fin for both boats and airplanes, if the air can flow at an angle, it's actually faster. Right. You know what I mean? So it comes, it's like coming around a corner. Any air fryer right? out there, there's no other air fryer out there that has that feature, and it's right. a substantial difference. And it may. Well, yep. Let me just show you. This is the best way of showing. Here we have chicken wings. Oh. These are just plain old chicken wings. We added nothing to them but salt and pepper, mm. right? And listen to these. I mean, these are fully cooked, crisp chicken wings. Oh, and totally brown. Totally brown. So good. And not only totally brown, but I want to show you that in here, oops, last one. In here is, I'm just going to pour it out. This is just the huh. natural fat that comes off of just that amount of wings. Wow. So not only are you not putting this into oil to fry, you're actually taking oil out of chicken wings. That's great. So by far the healthiest chicken wings you could ever do. And what's interesting, you ever over fried chicken wings and they're really dry? This is so moist, but it tastes like they were fried. That is the real key yeah. to this. Everything taste has that crunch, has that snap, has Absolutely. that flavor of fried without any of the oil. It's brilliant. And, and the smell. You don't smell a fryer. Right. Right. You walk into a clam shack or a place that's doing lots of onion rings and french fries, it smells like oil everywhere. Do you smell oil? You yep. don't smell oil because there is Not no at oil. Not at all. All right, so here we go. We have wow. this great separator if yep. you want to separate your sweet potatoes fries from your regular fries. And I, I mean, I don't know if you can tell how crispy these guys are at. I mean, these are really crispy fries. All right? So I'm going to just dump. I'm going to take out the separator. I'm going to dump both of our fries out, right? I mean, look at that. GB&Ds, we say, golden brown and delicious. Again, 
done in an air fryer, done with no extra oil. They're still frozen, but it's warm out there, okay. so they're not hard frozen. <laughs> so here we have frozen chicken breasts, and I mean frozen, okay? So we're gonna put two frozen chicken breasts in here now. And Trace, how long is it gonna take, you think? Uh, it's probably about 12 to 15 minutes. 12 to 15 minutes for fully cooked chicken breast from the frozen state. Crazy, and again, two dials, guys. Temperature, we're gonna crank this all the way to 400, and times, I have it for 15 minutes. So easy, right? So here, we have the surf and turf. So we had this in here, right? It was like that. We didn't want to overcook the shrimp, so they got pulled out just two minutes beforehand. And we have a fantastic beef tenderloin. Oh, come on. Right? And, and we, will, we will go ahead and do a little plating here. This would, of course, be the turf part. Fantastic garlic shrimp and a lot of garlic shrimp. We don't have to use all of these because we can maybe do, and we easily could have done two different tenderloins. Absolutely. Um, but what I'll do here is just give a couple slices. Oh my God, I mean, look how this is cooked, guys. This is cooked like you would want <clears throat> in a restaurant, right? That's what I love about the air fryers, that you could actually cook meals. A lot of people, you don't, you don't think that you could actually do a whole meal in there. But you could do everything from veg to meat. Right, I mean, and, look at and that. be done. I now, love that. This is probably one of my favorite ways of using the air fryer. Hot dogs, right? Every kid, every adult I know loves hot dogs. And these will take five minutes? If that. If that, right? But five minutes will make them nice and crunchy and nice and brown on the outside. And they will plump up, and you'll see. Um, and when you're in a pinch and you need to get hot dogs quickly and you have to also have to go up and take a shower, boom, hot dogs in, you go upstairs, <laughs> done. Again, using the separator, we have beautiful asparagus, right? No fat added to this, guys. We, we didn't need this, we went for the healthiest possible surf and turf dish, or sorry, surf and, I guess turf, it's asparagus, that's from the turf. <laughs> it is from the turf, <laughs> it works. <laughs> With a little bit of salmon, right? So simple, and if you want, of course you can take some extra virgin olive oil, of course you can do anything like that, but here we're gonna take this other accessory. This is just a little cake pan. You can bake a cake, you can bake brownies. Here we have some cinnamon rolls. This also would take about six or seven minutes, yeah. right? It's so Tops. fast. And again, so for breakfast, boom, take your shower, cinnamon buns for your family. Love it. Probably my funnest demo of them all. <laughs> it's, it, this is a fun one. This is the demo of them all. So here we have a molten kind of lava cake. So this is where this accessory, which is the inside um, cake pan, I guess you call it, right? Yes. Like that. And the, non and the non stick, the Technolon Plus, it slips right out. Nothing sticks. Nothing. And, and I'll give it just to show you an ooey gooeyness of this cake. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Look at that. There's perfect. nobody that doesn't oh. not like this. Right? I mean, <laughs> how fun is that? And what we're going to do then, we're going to load this with some s'mores. cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker. Now how fun is that? We're only this doing one? What, Suzanne doesn't get one? Okay, yeah, wait, what's up with that? <laughs> oh darn it, oh I missed the fries, Actually, I had to go what? backwards. We're cutting back a little bit, we each got a quarter. This will take <laughs> literally, I wanted to get color on the top, so I took the top graham cracker off, because I love it when the marshmallow gets crunchy oh, everywhere. Yeah. Right, Absolutely. so this is like two minutes, you're gonna have the most perfectly toasted marshmallow um, without lighting a fire and without being outside. <laughs> And True. you can easily just do it indoors. All right, so let me give you a couple updates. Number one, let's talk colors because we have basically all the colors in stock. So we have, of course, the rich purple. We've got the classic beautiful white diamond. Then we have um, the imperial blue. We've got the jet black. And then we have the race car red. Here's the thing. 
really, if your goal is to eat healthy, but you're afraid you're going to miss all the flavor of fried foods, all the things you saw that he's done so far, you won't with this. I am a huge advocate and a big believer in air frying. I will tell you, this is even smarter than the unit I have at home. And we air fry everything, even reheating pizzas better. But we do everything from a chicken parm, we do our steaks inside here, anything, even make toast. I do toast on there. We do English muffins inside here. It's a revolution in cooking. You're not heating up your stove, which is awesome because you don't have to anymore. You really, and most of the time, honestly, we rely on this. This is what we use to do any kind of baking that you can think of, any kind of frying that you think of. And it's another one of those awesome opportunities because right now we are $90 off the normal price. We have five flex pays, free shipping, all of that today while these are available. So if your goal going into the holiday season is to eat delicious, eat great, but not feel guilty about it, wouldn't it be nice to have an appliance that allows you to do that? That's why so many people love this. That's why we've sold thousands upon thousands of these. Here are the color sellout stories though, unfortunately. Oh, there we go, the Imperial Blue and that purple. Those two colors are going to sell out during this show. So I'd love you to try it as well because what a great alternative. Not even have to heat up your oven, Chef. And that's what we love in our household. Where's yeah. the two of us? We don't need to heat the oven anymore. No, and by the way, unfortunately it's not summertime now, but if you did live in Florida or somewhere hot, you, the amount of power you save by not having your air conditioner work over time for your oven being heated is phenomenal. It's but huge, it's huge. About phenomenal, look at these. What is this? What did you do? Souffles. <gasps> oh, stop it. Souffles. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, why, of not? Course. why not? Right? <laughs> Everyone is so scared ever watching the Brady Bunch and now saying, I can't do souffles. <laughs> yes, you can. It's so easy. Egg white raspberry puree. Sugar. That's it. Right? Yes, but it's the air fryer that actually makes but, the magic happen. Yeah, but look, I see now here you can even see a little of the raspberry oh, in this, right? Man. But it's so easy. And oh my god, and everyone says souffles always go down. Well, because it's got so beautifully crusted, it's gonna stay up for a while. That's crazy. Right? That's crazy. You know, what is going. the most other than the souffle, what's the most surprising thing you've seen oh. cooked in one of these or you've cooked in one of these? I mean, the s'more in one minute, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that, it. That's, I think the s'more, the hot dog souffles are all gold medalists okay, for, for air awesome. fries. I mean, yeah. french fries and chicken fingers, are not, that's obvious, right? right? Jalapeno poppers, that's all obvious. Yeah. But this is not as obvious, that's right? True. Because that's you're here, we're actually cooking. Right, right. right. The, 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 from scratch, right? Lifting egg whites the whole nine yards. Um, this is a great point. That's and great this, the air fryer is your dehydrator, that's right? Great. And dehydrator costs a hundred, two hundred dollars, but you can get the best, crunchiest. Wow. That's unbelievable. You can take the complete moisture out of anything. Thinly sized, and by the way, this has of course been spiralized. So if you want to make homemade jerky. This is spiralized. These are the so apples that we spiralized over there. Dehydrated Boom. in here. And yes, homemade jerky is fantastic. I'm delicious. Thinly sliced beef or chicken or turkey, spice it up. In. All right, we're going to say hi to Jeannie in New Jersey, who loves this. You're on with Chef Ming and Suzanne. Welcome. Hi, good evening. I'm so oh, happy to yeah. speak to you. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? How about a s'more for you? Oh, I would love one. <laughs> I, 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 I purchased an air this. fryer back in uh, March, mm -hmm. and I love it. Actually, I made, um, I've made your, you know, your uh, pork belly that you've demonstrated before. Right. I've made that for friends, and they are just absolutely in love with it. Awesome. And um, just the other night, I made a sweet potato fry. You I did. love the air fryer. It yeah. That's great. fantastic. Do you realize, did you realize when you bought it how often you use it now? Did you think you'd use it that much? I did not, actually. I didn't think that I would use it that often, but I find myself pulling that out uh, versus uh, you know, making anything else because yeah. it's so easy and the cleanup is so simple. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. right. I don't even have to put it in the dishwasher. I just take a wet cloth and I kind of wipe it. Oh, well, that, that's, the tech, said, that's the Technolon Plus. Yeah, yeah, Jeannie, I mean, you're, 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 you're saying exactly the best part about this air fryer. Easy to use, doesn't heat up your kitchen, easy to clean. I mean, my parents, who if you've seen my show and know and love like I do, are amazing cooks, but they're 88 and 82 now. 
So in EDA 2, my mom's not like blowing up ducks and making peeking ducks anymore, right? She's, she's, she's done enough. But they have an air fryer. And they hang out in Hawaii, and you're not supposed to really cook, but this, you know, they're like, it's an air fryer, it's fine. They're roasting their own peanuts. They're making pork Stop belly. It. Oh, they're doing everything. And they're like the hit of the entire community. Did you have pork belly oh, Absolutely, oh because gosh. just like we did that filet mignon, you right. can go slow, right? right? And that's the thing about this Rio stop. You don't have to go 400. More slits, we go 400 because we're looking for crisp. Right. You can go slow. You can go all the way down to 175, which is okay. how they do the nuts. They take raw peanuts, season them, and go nice and slow in the shell. Oh, funny. Oh, my God. And well, that's hand, how you dehydrate, yeah, too, Yeah, right? and then they hand them out to all their friends, and they're like, oh, the size, always cooking. It's hilarious. <laughs> well, Jeannie, thank you for joining I also, us. I also make... Yeah, I also make kale chips in there. Oh, kale chips? Right. Yeah. Oh, and you know yeah, how expensive kale those kale. are to buy at a health food store? Oh, yeah. Oh. Because I've bought them before. Yeah. And, I mean, like, this is, like, much cheaper way to do it. It sure is. Right. Well, thank you Jeannie. so much for taking my call. All thank right, you. Jeannie, take care. Keep All cooking. Right. Now, look you've seen hot dogs, these. and then you've look seen at, air fried hot dogs from Chef May. Look at these hot dogs. They're, they're, they're better than grilling They them. just yeah. split. They got to snap because oh. they're crisp. And these took us six minutes, start to finish, and I didn't have to watch it. I didn't have to flip them. I didn't have to boil them, grill them. I didn't have to do any of that stuff. I just had to put them in here, six minutes, perfect hot dog. Like, did you really perfect get a good dogs. look at those? Like, that's something you want to you want to take a bite of, you know? We could use some onions from our spiralizer that yeah, we spiralized. Yeah, pickled onion spiralizer. Oh, it'd be perfect. Okay, let me give you another update, too. If you would like the purple or the blue, this is the blue, you saw the purple earlier, those are limited quantities and those are sell-out quantities, which means they're not going to be available. Always the black and white, number one, number two, bestseller. But here's the thing. We all go to restaurants. Why do we go to restaurants and what do you order first? We look at the appetizer and you go, oh, I want some mozzarella sticks or I want some chicken wings. Why? Because they're going to be fried and you know they're going to be delicious. Well, imagine getting the same flavor, the same texture. Everything is the same and yet they're not fried. There's zero guilt. That's the brilliance behind that. That's why, Chef, most people buy this and then they discover all the other cool things you can do with Like it. this. Yeah. Right? I mean, fried Brussels sprouts is the rage right now and they are delicious, right? And you can put a little pomegranate syrup or whatnot, but air fried Brussels Sprouts. I can't, if you had blindfolded and you were eating these, you wouldn't be able to tell. You right. would just know these taste actually a little better because you can actually taste the Brussels sprouts rather than the oil of the fryer. Right, they're not coated with oil from frying. Right, right, exactly. And also, you know what I love about using vegetables? There's a nuttiness that an air fryer brings out, your air yeah. fryer brings out. It is them. true. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. good. Chicken fingers. So it can also do the, the mundane chicken fingers. <laughs> and do my kids like chicken fingers when they're young? Of course they did. And did I wear <laughs> sunglasses when I went through the drive through a fast food restaurant? Yes, Absolutely. <laughs> and I, you're, no, I'm not. Shut up. Give me my fingers. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> it's not. Aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, I'm Emerald. Yes, I'm Emerald. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Spiral eyes. You saw me do it earlier. What is this? What have we did? These oh, are potato potatoes? chips. <gasps> These are the potato oh. chips. And listen. Oh. Listen. Oh my gosh. Right? Potato chips. And these are oh. unsalted. You can salt them as much as you want. You can do a spice salt, a Cajun like, salt, whatever. Uh, chef Tom, too. Like, look, look. Like, look. It does what a potato chip is supposed to do. No oil. Right? Isn't that so good? It's so good. Right? Oh my gosh. And so, if you have one two punch, you're never buying another bag of potato chips ever. And you don't need to. These are better. And these are warm. I my grandfather used to do this for me. Potato chips. And I loved them. But they were out of the fryer. They were great. But they were oil everywhere and right. a little bit fattening. All that. Just a little. So, <laughs> all right. Go. Let's go over some features real quick. Yep. Quick air technology. Again, Chef has taken this and made it much okay. more innovative than any other fryer out there. It, Cooks up. with little to no oil. You don't have to use oil. So you get that kind of crunch without it. 60-minute timer. Auto shut off. Removable uh, food basket and drawer. And those, those by the way, are all dishwasher safe and that brilliant ceramic non-stick that's only available in this unit the Technolon Plus. Don't don't forget dishwasher safe, nice lots of power, cool touch handle and really a nice size too. This is the kind that you leave out on your counter. I promise if you get it tonight and you try it out, you will end up leaving it out because you're like, why would I put it away? Because you end up using it so much. We got about a minute to go. This. Chef, what'd you make these there? Are, these are the frozen chicken breasts. Right? Wow. But can I just show you? Mm. Look at this juiciness of this frozen chicken breast. Oh. You see that? Oh. Isn't that unbelievable, right? And things come out Frozen. juicier Juicy than even delicious. in the oven. 
And I know, What's I know in there? we gotta go soon, but seconds? here we go. Oh, bad. These are the wow. cinnamon ones I put in earlier. Oh my right? gosh. And look at great. these. Oh my god, look how good these look. And just ow, FYI, ow, if ow. you want the popcorn maker, don't not burn yourself. We have that available. And we have the bakeware set that's available to go back to this unit as well, so you can ask about those. Oh, those look great, Chef. Right? Oh, I mean, gosh. by the way, you can put your own frosting on them or not, but there we go, baby. All right, Chef Eric, Chef Tracy, Chef, thank you thank all three. You, thank um, you guys. Coming back at 9 o'clock tonight to wrap up your day. Absolutely. It's been fun. And don't miss out on that spiralizer. You can still get that or this right now. Coming up next, Samantha Brown, and we're going to travel a little. I'm Adam Freeman, host of the Monday Night Show. Get a jump on your gift list as we continue to celebrate our Gifts Under 50 event and discover brand new gifts at an unbelievable price you don't want to miss. Join us Monday at 7. What makes a woman beautiful? Happiness. Yes, and energy. Happiness is the most attractive form of beauty, the one that comes from deep within. Discover Renergy Lift Multi-Action to visibly tighten all facial zones. See younger looking skin. Feel more beautiful. This is what makes people remember you. Renergy Lift Multi-Action. Only by Lancome. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. The Serious Skincare Woman is every woman. We have something for everyone. The A Defiance line is for those women out there who have lines and wrinkles. If you're not using A Defiance, you're not doing everything you can for your skin. Our vitamin C line has plasma technology for even brighter, younger looking skin. If you're over 40, it's an absolute must. The glycolic line is for anyone that wants to renew their skin. So if you want to retexturize your skin,